with this video I'm going to show you how to create a constructor for a class it can be a default constructor and then a second constructor so we create a new project it can be a console application it to be called football names because we like football and this is what we get so we add a new class which would be called uh, club info and in this club info we will declare some fields called um, let's think what we do what we need for a club but first we need name why not second we need famous player third we need city and fourth we need we need president but I don't know the presidents so we need country and then let's start with the first constructor the first constructor is called to be the default constructor so it would be looking like this it would have this name would be this famous would be some player This city will be some city, and this country will be some country, and this is enough with our default constructor. We start with the second constructor would be also named Clubin, but it would get data for name, famous player, city and country. And in order to do this we start uh, what should we do here? We should simply write because this is the date, the date table which should be entered then we should simply write name then string famous player then string city then string country so, and what this we simply say this name equals name this famous player equals famous player this city equals city this country equals country the idea is that once we declare the constructor with uh, country and so these strings go immediately of the method and of course we need something like a method so it would be a void be public void uh, what would be give me info give info and it would look like let's say the, let's say for Barcelona is from Spain Messi plays is there this one. Mm -hmm. so it would look like first we have the name of the place then we have mm, then we have this uh, or yeah first we have the name of the team then we have the the city 
then we have the country and then we have the famous player exactly let's go back to our program creating our bin push. so equal bin for first team equals new club info and here we see the two options this is the default one where we have the some things and this is the one that we have already declared with the four strings so here simply we write uh, this would be the default one let's put the second one it will be second team and it will be new club info but this one will be this one so we have to put uh, Manchester United famous Berbatov he doesn't play this but okay Manchester and here we write England and put a second or third team so Okay, Barca with Messi who almost had the goal from Barcelona from Spain and we we'll put a third one, a fourth team which would be I'm just thinking of fourth team. Hmm. Okay, Real Madrid. Wait, Ronaldo from the city of so it would be better if and also from Spain. Next, we should we should um our teams saying uh, the method that they have that we have created for them so we'll simply write the following we will make an array which will be called my array so I like to have my arrays and our teams there mm. First team, second team, third team, fourth team, and once we do this, we will make a for each construction, which would say first team in collection my array. So for each first team, my team, no, not first team, but uh, here it should be club info. My team, say my team punct, and that's it. And with control F5, yes, some name is from some city, some country, some player plays in there. Manchester United is from Manchester, England, but both of plays in there. Bars is from Barcelona, Spain, Messi plays India, Real Madrid is from Madrid, from another place India. It would be better if we remove the in. It should be a little proper English or something. We try it again. Yeah, some name is from some city, some Yep. 